Hello, peculiar people, chosen generation. How are you? My name is Ellie Francis, and I've come your way again to talk with you about what the Holy Spirit laid in my heart to talk with you. I have noticed that most of us, when we um, believe that we are standing, we now become so complacent to keep maintaining that our spiritual lives. I want to tell you that whatever you maintain lasts longer. If you maintain your car, it will last longer. If you maintain your house, it will last longer. And I want to tell you that for you to keep operating on the same frequency with the Holy Spirit, you need to keep maintaining it daily. I mean daily. I said daily. In fact, not daily. Always, every moment. If we go to the scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, it said, Wherefore, let him that taketh his standeth, take heed, lest he fall. You understand what the scripture is saying there? That you that is thinking that you're standing and you're now being uh, in the position of correcting other people, thinking that you are the one to use as a yastic for a Christian, a perfect Christian, uh, you should take heed lest you fall. Because if the devil can tempt Jesus, who are you that you won't be tempted? If, uh, if you keep maintaining your spiritual life daily, you will understand that there are things, there are places that you're going off the track and you will notice immediately. Some people that owns a car, when you start the car and listen to the sound of your engine, you will notice that there is a change in the sound of the engine. That's where you go to the mechanic to fix it. And when you fix it, you've maintained the car. Sometimes, you know, this is a problem of uh, 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 engine oil. This is a problem of uh, this and that. And when you fix them, you're maintaining the car. When you wake up, in the morning or you're walking in your office and you notice, notice a slight change in your body system you go and um, consult a doctor and all that and your body will be restored through the administration of medications that is how you maintain your health that same way you do those things that's how you need to maintain your spiritual life the bible made us to understand that in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, he said, Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not to lose heart. In King James, he says, and not to faint. I want to tell you that you need to always pray. Prayer is a means to communicate with our Father, a means to keep track with our father if you stop praying you're disconnecting from the source that made you if you stop praying the holy spirit might not have the expression the free expression to talk to you per time i want you to understand that we are in the end time and we supposed to double whatever that we are doing for the kingdom of god both in our prayer life in our uh, uh, evangelism, whatever we are doing, we need to keep doing it and do it more seriously not right now so that the enemy will not have any loophole, any chance, any gap to enter and attack our spiritual life. God bless you. I know that this has impacted you somehow, somewhere. See you next time. I remain your humble friend, Annie Francis. Bye.